Peter, quick enough. But a year ago, um, when you were going for a slam here, there's a, there's a bit of a nervous performance in it, I would say. Once you've finished the celebrating after a couple of days, were you able to kind of put your finger on what fed into that? And is it something you've tried to work on over the, the, the ensuing whatever year to try and make sure that when you get presented with this opportunity again, that you're more you're more able to handle the occasion than you know to be at home because you get all that stuff? Yeah, it was something that we were back on a fair bit. Uh, we were we weren't very happy with that performance, um, and uh, you know I think performances like that, um, you know, like you know the All Blacks game game last weekend, I think stand to us. Uh, going back to even the French game, uh, you know, a few years ago where we had the opportunity to win the championship and we didn't turn up. Um, you know, I think that particular game stood to us for a long time after that that experience and. Um, you know, you, you need to be able to use them and bank them, you know, the feeling of, you know, the stress, the pressure of the whole occasion and and, and using all those examples to uh, to fill up your tool bank of how to negate them and, and how to be better in those in those uh, in those performances, certainly. And he's sticking with the fifteen guys who started last week and not making any knee jerk decision isn't where he is carrying What does that do for you guys to be kind of given the Responsibility to right the wrongs of last week, rather than making wholesale changes and trying to get the battle. Yeah, look, uh, obviously, as you said, that's not the way Andy works. Um, it's probably more a question for him. Look, uh, you know, it's great. Uh, you know, it's great that there wasn't a, one of the a breaks or it wasn't the last game for us. It's great that we get the opportunity to. You know, to come back home and, and put in performance. That's all you know. The group has talked about really. Um, you know, you know, and Andy has his decisions to make, and he's made his decision. Now, now it's up to the the twenty three who have the responsibility of of putting the jersey in a good place. That's Derek. You talk you talk about the twenty three. Um, <clears throat> obviously, nobody in this room has played against Scotland, but they. It appears to be a match that. The back row has a lot more to do. That's the Irish back row has a lot more to do because Scotland do have a fo- sorry Scotland appear to have a focus on the back row. Do you find that there's more for you and your two back row colleagues to do against Scotland than say against any other team? Um, particularly, um, I think with regard to their attacking game, uh, their width and depth, uh, we probably get come into the game a bit more defensively as a result of you know holding the width a little bit more and that kind of side of things, but. You know, you know, for us it's important we get stuck in tomorrow as a as a back row and, and as the guys coming off the bench. You know, you know, we're it's an inf- influential position regardless of what team you play in, and, and um, you know we're, we're we're very focused on our performance in particular tomorrow. Just on that on that with, I mean, obviously Ireland have played against top cast winners before. It's not it's not unusual to take up against a Danny Penno or whatever. But just have you any thoughts on say Johan van der he is the leading scorer in the competition? Is it, you know, from club level, if you take a rivalry with this club, what, what, what do you make of him? Yeah, look, obviously very impressive. Um, hugely impressive strike rate. Um, you know, every time we play them, you know, he, he always comes up in our in our player, player profiles, you know, um, a difficult man to stop. And, um, you know, I'm sure he'll be a handful tomorrow and, and will be someone that we'll have to keep quiet if, if, if we want to put in a, a winning performance, certainly. Thanks, Jerry. Peter, um, the Grand Slam has very much become the holy grail and Ireland, thank you, they've won a couple recently after a barren time without them. They haven't been that many Six Nations titles, but yet do you feel that they're, even amongst the squad of players, the man, whatever, I doubt you do, but the, this title, winning a championship title is slightly devalued by the Grand Slam between such a holy grail? No, I, I don't think so, because you, you said already it's... <sighs> It's it's so rare. It's uh, I know we've had a few in the in the most recent history, but you know going back over a long period, we've we're way down the list of of championships won, and um, you know you know about back, back to back Grand Slams. No one's ever done it because it's so hard. That's that's why you um, you know you got to win ten <coughs> Nations games in a row. Uh, you know, win five games away from home. It's unbelievably difficult to win a game away from home in this camp championship. You look at the stats across the board. Um, so it's ever in toss, you know what I mean, tomorrow. Absolutely ever in toss, uh, another championship. Uh, you know, you know, it, it's probably a, a manner of the the Irish kind of psyche that, you know, Jesus, but, 
you know, another championship. You know what I mean? When when all of a sudden a few years ago, you'd have taken your arm and your leg off for one. You know what I mean? We're still in the same boat. You know, it matters a massive amount to us. It's what we're here for. That's 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 the be all and end all of it. It's it's what we're here to do is win a championship for our country. And, um, you know, it couldn't mean any more to us. Also, last year, you've had the privilege of winning the titles away from home and in Dublin for last year, the first time in a long while. How different is it to win in front of extended family and friends in the home crowd? And how much of a part did the crowd play last year? Yeah, look, they play a huge part every game we, we take here. I have to say, it's it's always, you know, big occasions like this, they're, they're a, a very influential point of the game. And, um, it was special. I don't think we had ever done it. Um, no, no, never. It was the first time ever. So, um, it, you know, it was very special. I have to say, last year was obviously very special. But, um, you know, given the way this this last few weeks has gone, I think tomorrow will be as special if we to do it. Thanks, Bert. You know, this game always seems particularly spicy. In terms of there's always flare ups and it seems like sledging. Is that your sense from inside? Is there a real rivalry with these Scottish players? Oh, look, I, th- I think it's a competitive game, and and you know, both teams always get stuck in, and 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 you know that's what that's what you want, isn't it? You know what I mean? You want both teams flat out, and and you know we're not playing tennis or golf. You know what I mean? It's a physical game, and uh, you know you've got to get stuck in, and and you've got to be on the edge, and and that's that's rugby like. What did you feel about the collective defensive points last week? And is that going to be a- particularly keen area for the Scots. Yeah, look, it wasn't where we wanted to be, certainly. Um, you know, I thought the the intensity that the English brawl, we stood off a little bit and, and I think you hit the nail on the head. It's, it's going to be massively important tomorrow that we get our defensive uh, performance right on point because, you know, when Scotland are allowed to play, they're, they're probably one of the best attacking teams in the world. And... Uh, you know, we're certainly very aware of that, and we're certainly aware of that you know last week needs a big step up. Peter, it's the it'll be the fifth, sixteen times since eighteen ninety that Ireland won a championship. Just when you were talking about how rare it was happened, and yourself, Keane and uh, Connor will will have had five of them. Have you any any time to t- take in them? Probably something like that is that three guys would win it for the fifth time. Um, not particularly, to be honest. If I'm going to be very honest with you. Um, you know, it's 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 been a it's been a tough week, stressful week. Coming into you know the last few days have been great, um, you know, preparation wise and that. So we we've, we've had a fair bit on our plate to to get stuck into and consume and, and uh, you know get through. So you know, performance is key tomorrow, and that's what we're we're aiming to get stuck into. Okay, thanks very much. Oh, sorry, old question already. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, when you're back at Munster uh, in a few days, will you have to do some lobbying to, to convince Antoine to choose the uh, uh, island over France? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I will have to, I'd say, yeah, because he's he's an important player for us. Um, you know, I think he's grown into his own. Um, he's he's a great and integral part of the squad. Now he's. He's he's horizontal laid back, but he's 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 a great guy to have on the pitch, and his performances are getting better and better. So I'll certainly have to have a word to hopefully keep an Ireland over the next few years.